Welcome back, everyone. Toys just here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are totally checking out two of their brand new Spawn Universe Wave 2 Ultra Action Figures. First up, we have She Spawn, a very welcomed addition to the Spawn Universe. Not the first She Spawn, certainly probably not the last She Spawn either, but because of her look, because of the costume she's got, and the character of the person behind the mask she definitely looks great here's the barcode as well no they haven't started to hit store shelves just yet but you can screen grab this for when they do and yes i did order mine off walmart they got incredibly pushed back cygor was supposed to be delivered no dice he's uh wherever they put cybernetic monkeys for the time being but anyways we also have soul crusher as well now this guy, he's a newbie. He's the new baddie of the Spawn books. Not a lot about this guy just yet, right? I'm sure they're going to be developing his character into something bigger, greater, darker. He's a weird-looking character. He's kind of cool. He comes with a bunch of different guns. And just like she Spawn, here's the barcode as well. So this is going to be a blast. A Spawn blast, of course. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new She Spawn and Soul Crusher Ultra Action Figures from the new Spawn Universe Wave 2 by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging for these two figures. A lot of weapons to talk about, which is refreshing because when you look at the DC Multiverse, you got finger guns. Such a blast to open up a figure and have a bunch of different weapons inside. And of course, we'll kick it off with Soul Crusher. Not a lot to be said, and certainly not a lot to really compare him with, especially from older Spawn action figures from the 90s. He's a brand new character, but he's got a very interesting look. He does come with two guns. You get a nice decoed gun right here. It's got a little dry brush silver on it. Really brings out the details. I like it. It looks old. It looks weathered. So I definitely dig what they did there. Then you get a handgun. It's got a little bit of dry brush on there as well. A little bit of silver amidst the black. I definitely dig that as well. I got the stand, of course. And then you got Soul Crusher. One big thing that I wanted to point out from Wave 1 now to this Wave 2. Everything is painted on this guy. The buckles are painted. The shoes. He's got peggles on the bottom of his feet, for those wondering, of course. He's still got pins, but everything is nicely weathered. Everything just looks really crisp, really clean. And I just love it. I love that they've really went to the attention of detail that I look for for McFarlane toys, especially with Spawn, Spawn figures of the 90s. And it really translates well here because now you have all this articulation with all that paint as well. And it goes all the way around. They did not skimp on this guy. Very cool texturing too. I love the cape, the big old Doctor Doom cape, right? <laughs> really well done there. That looks awesome. The mask has all the different details the weathering you got the big tube that goes from the front of the face and wraps down to his back the straps the buckles i'm just i'm very impressed by this figure you have weapon storage for the pistol right there you can put that on his leg everything just really works for this guy and makes for now i want to know more you got to tell us more about this character the head articulation because it's a masked guy within a hood surprisingly it actually it gets some pretty decent articulation for a masked guy in a hood. Let's just say it that way. He's not going to exactly look up. He looks kind of sorted down. But I like that that's the amount of articulation that you get. And I'm really happy with it because you got the big hose accessory as well. The arms have butterfly joints. Now, it's going to be a little hindered on this side where the cape kind of goes over one arm. But this side gets a little bit more rotation, a little bit more articulation out of it. He does have some bicep swivel as well. He does have double jointed elbows and they work really nicely. Nothing yet to heat up, nothing to worry about. But I like that the ball joint wrists work and look good on this figure. They don't look big, clunky, ball jointed wrists like some of the new multiverse stuff, we'll just say. Bit of an ab crunch, not too far forward. He will go back a lot more. He'll twist up top. He'll twist at the waist, the legs, you can do the splits. 
Nothing as far as thigh swivel, but you do get a nice range of motion out of him. He does have some double knees, which work really well. Nothing as far as spinning at the boots, nothing like that, but he's got toe and he's got feet articulation as well. So again, very happy with the articulation, very happy with the paint, with the weapons. I'll show you in just a second. Just putting the gun in the hand and kind of getting him all situated. You know what? It's just better just to show him off. This guy displays beautifully. He looks great. Can't say enough nice things about him. I want to know more about this character. I want to know what he's really... It's just... It's very cool. That's all I'm going to say. I love the, the guns. The guns make this figure who the character is. He's a gun-toting bad guy. He's got all this armor. He can go up against Spawn. He can go up against Cygor and somehow still make it out. So you know he's a big, powerful jerk. And as far as Scalature goes... He is shorter than Spawn, which does work in my mind. Now, we'll just primarily use the new Spawn figures. The older ones are a little bit small compared to these new figures. But in either case, I think you're going to have a great time with the Soul Crusher. And next up, we have She-Spawn, which is Jessica Priest. The prior She-Spawn is Nyx. And that's kind of the old one, kind of, sort of. It was like a different take. Basically, different look for the character, but uh, yeah, you get a lot of weapons with this deluxe version of She Spawn. So she is going to be a little bit more expensive. I like the weathering. I like the paint. I like that each weapon has a little bit of a red wrapping to it. It really personalizes all of Jessica Priest's weapons, so I definitely dig that. This blade, long, huge club of a weapon right here. Nice detail all over it, and one that's very reminiscent of a prior she spawn weapon, just saying. And you got these big gun. This gun makes no sense, and that's what's so much fun. These are like the big vacuum cleaner, goofy guns of the spawn universe. You got guns strapped to guns, you got a handgun strapped to a gun, bullets, magazine clips, everything is attached in some way. You got the big bullets hanging down. It's just, it's a lot of fun. That is a great spawn gun. It makes no sense, but it's totally cool. Then you have this giant gun as well. And again, the red wrappings, you got a little bit of dry brush going on. What is this, like a sniper, right? Somebody can help me out. I don't know guns all too well. I just know that it looks cool. Looks like there's missiles and everything else attached to the sides of this thing. Various scopes. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I want to see with just ridiculous Spawn 90s goodness. And this one is no exception as well. Smaller, of course, but equally as cool. And then you get a really cool extra hand that's a little bit Marvel Legends-ish to me as it hooks in that way. You get a real working chain. Check it out, right? It's always nice to have chains to put on your Spawn figures. You do get the Spawn stand. And then you get a really gorgeous looking Jessica Priest spawn figure. Just like I said with Soul Crusher. One of the big things. Wave 1 was the skimpage of paint. On these two new figures, they really seem to have listened or just ramped it up. I love the hair on her, how it folds to one side. It very much is the comic books, the artwork that they have. They take one scene and then just bring it to life. You got all the bullets. Those are all painted. You got the spawn skull right there on her chest that's painted the gorgeous face really nice pretty female face amidst a spawn mask you do get a plastic chain it's fine because you get a metal one as well you got another skull you got sculpted chain you've got all the rivets all the spikes her black motorcycle jacket is very detailed out it looks like leather spikes on her leg the big boot right here, which is kind of like the big boot for Spawn, but just in the female form, right, with all the spikes. She has little studs, little paint right there towards the boots on either side of her stiletto boots. <laughs> I'd love the design for this character. I just like how it incorporates all the Spawn look, but then brings it into a very cool, very updated female form. So definitely dig that. The hair, you know how this is going to go. She's got big, chunky, clunky hair, which is well done but it's gonna hinder it when you wanna move her around. So some hindrance in the articulation on that side, but hey, at least she can look to the left and the eyes aren't uh, looking left. You know what I'm talking about? She doesn't have butterfly joints, but you can get her arms going all the way up. There's no cape, there's nothing hindering. She's got double jointed elbows. The wrists again, no ball joints there, so that's cool, right? Semblance of an ab crunch, more so that it'll rotate up top. 
some rotation in the waist, a little bit stuck there. The legs will kick out. Nothing as far as thigh rotation, but you do get a nice semblance of movement. They'll kind of kick off more to the side instead of straight up. You got double jointed knees, and then you've got some stiletto articulation with the toe as well. So it's pretty nicely articulated female figure, nice paint, nice look, but you came here for the guns, the big guns, right? She holds all her weapons beautifully. This might as well just be a, a weapons montage. It's fantastic. It's so overly 90s, overly spawn that I'm having a blast. All of these weapons really make for the figure. Is it worth, let's say, the $40 price tag that this deluxe figure warrants? I would say that's up to you. I would have grabbed her regardless. All the extra weapons do make for a fantastic display. Change it up every day. Do whatever you want to do. Back in the day, these used to be this amount of weapons for around 10, 12 bucks at the most, I'm just saying. But as we all have to keep in mind, those days are long gone. In terms of the scalature for her and Spawn, well, she's around the same height as Spawn. I kind of saw her as being a little bit shorter, but at least she's not overly taller than Spawn. We'll, we'll allow it in this sense. Now, I did pull out a previous She Spawn figure from my collection. I have other ones, but these are the ones that are on my shelf presently. This is a fantastic She Spawn. Now, this one you could kind of say is Nyx, or at least shares some similarities to Nyx. It's not exactly the character design, but the huge weapons, the huge at everything is just very cool. And I've always loved the look of this particular She Spawn. You can even see the design aspect of this new one versus the old one. Well, at least in the weapon, right? Look at that. Now, in the old Spawn movie, you had Julie Cooper, a.k.a. Melinda Clark, playing Jessica Priest. Remember that from the OC? Yeah, she, woo. We all remember the OC, right? Then you also had Jessica Priest and Mr. Obersmith. That was a dual pack figure for the Curse of the Spawn. I gotta pull all these out. But uh, yeah, you have the movie version of Jessica Priest. So there have been prior releases of, say, just the character non-spawnified uh, Jessica Priest character. And then you had the original She Spawn, which basically showed up before She Spawn was in the comic. So doesn't really share the similarities. And then you had the Spawn Reborn, which was the one I have on display now with the red version. So say it's Nick, say it's not, basically whatever you want to do. But the new She Spawn is Jessica Priest going forward. And then, of course, incorporating Wave 1 and Wave 2 thus far together. Yeah, you're amassing quite a new Spawns Universe collection. A lot of great things to be said about Wave 2 so far. Very happy with that. There were some nitpicks, hiccups here and there, primarily because of how I feel about McFarlane Toys in regards to Spawn. You're used to a certain thing for years and years, and then when you get the new stuff, you're like, ah, it takes a while to kind of settle in. So I'll say again, Wave 2, definitely an improvement upon Wave 1 in some aspects. I mean, that Violator is gorgeous, and there was a lot of great things about Gunslinger and other spawn figures, you know, here and there. Just, it could have added just a little bit more. So I'm stoked to see when the other characters finally do show up. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending over at least these two figures now to give you guys this fresh look. And again, yes, I have pre-ordered mine. They keep getting pushed back, hopefully, much like everything else. It's all mishigash in the mail right now, but hopefully things do start hitting soon. And I really do recommend these new Spawn figures, being that they're new characters. If you have the old 90s collection, or at least some semblance of Spawn figures, they will go nicely as new coming characters in your Spawn collection. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these new Spawn figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. I think an awesome accessory would be one of those little spawn power meters where you could flip the dials and have all the numbers change. Like a little clock, right? Right on your display shelf. McFarlane, let's make that happen. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.